Well, we have been counting down the days. We have been previewing a lot of the films that are be going to be shown in the upcoming Sunscreen Film Festival, which kicks off this Thursday. And uh, now we are highlighting another one, which I'm really excited about. So when you hear the name Mr. Miyagi, I'm sure uh, his face comes to Ryan, uh, mind, right? Well, there is so much more uh, behind that uh, iconic character in one of in American cinema. The film is called More Than Miyagi, The Pat Morita Story. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, clip that entire chapter of my life changed me forever i was diagnosed with spinal tb my parents were told this kid ain't gonna make it i was escorted from the hospital by an fbi guy to join my parents at an internment camp in the middle of arizona Wow, again, just one part of uh, his story. And joining me now, I'm so happy uh, to welcome Kevin Derrick, the uh, director of uh, this film, and then Evelyn Morita, his wife, uh, who is also in this and uh, helping to tell uh, his story, his legacy. Uh, guys, thanks for joining me this morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So, Kevin, let's start with you. Um, and I know you've been a big fan of the Karate Kid movies and kind of diving into everything before. But to get a chance to really uh, help this his story be told, start there. I mean, this has got to be pretty special. It was. It was. For me, Karate Kid was a big deal because back then when the Karate Kid films came out, I was 10 years old and I was already. No, no, I'm sorry. I was like maybe in my teen for 14, 15, and we had already been in karate, so the Karate Kid was a big deal for us. It kind of legitimized the whole karate world, and then, you know, after the film came out, it was, you would see dojos, you would see people, uh, you know, lining up to sign up for karate and all that stuff, so it's, Pat made a, a, a big impact with the, with the karate world, so when I ended up meeting Evelyn and I interviewed him for my previous documentary. I mean, uh, this was a dream come true for me to be able to tell his story because I had met him uh, one time uh, like 30 years ago and who would have known like back then I would have been doing a documentary on his life. So I'm very happy that Evelyn was, you know, trusted us to tell his life story. So thanks. Thanks, Evelyn. So Oh, and Evelyn, you. I know that it was a little hard, you admitted, to maybe look back at some of these memories. I mean, it wasn't the easiest thing to do, but you, you said you realized how important it is for his legacy to be remembered. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's a story that deserves to be told because, uh, it, I mean, it's nothing short of a miracle that he succeeded how, you know, the way he did after going through all these tremendous obstacles from the time he was born, uh, you know, nine years in a sanitarium with spinal tuberculosis away from his family. And then the war broke out and he was sent to an internment camp to meet up with his family for another three years. And then not just that, but, you know, when he got the crazy idea to get into show business, you know, he went through the racism, you know, you know, in those days, uh, Japanese weren't funny, you know, and he had the had the uh, fortitude to get into the business forever for whatever reason. And I think it was a way to deal with his his uh, depression. And you know, it's st very common for performers to to have a, a sad past, you know, and they draw on that, you know, and it's easier to make a joke out of it or. You know, and, and he drew he drew from that past pain, and that's what made him such an incredible actor. And so it was just so important that this, his story be told because it is part of his legacy. So in this, you hear him sharing his story because he did a number of years ago, um, kind of a longer format interview. So you hear him. Mm -hmm. But then, as you saw in those clips, some of the, the actors that we know and love, you know, from his group are a part of this as well. Right, mm -hmm. Kevin? Right, right. We were lucky enough. I, when we started this project, I went through IMDb and I looked yeah. at all the films that he's done. And we basically went and hit up everyone that was in in any way part of his life. So all the people that you see are the people who actually wanted to help out and contribute. Um, I mean, Henry Winkler was very nice. Ralph Macchio, mm -hmm. Zapka. I really thank them for being a part of this project. And we had nothing but love from be the beginning of, of this uh, this process. So 
So yeah. far, so good, you know? Yeah, and I, I keep saying we're out of time, but timing is everything. I know uh, there's been just this an explosion again of Karate Kid and the Karate Kid family with Cobra right. Kai. Right. Uh, so again, I can't wait to watch this. Uh, we're going to put details on when this is shown. I know you guys are hoping to both be there, right? Yes, and, we're going to uh, be there. Yes. And there's so, going to be a Q&A after the film, so if people yes. are interested, we'll see you then. Yep. So, uh, again, it's going to be shown on Saturday. We'll put all the details uh, on our website. Uh, there it is, May 1st at 2.20. Such a treat to have you on our show. And, uh, again, I can't wait to watch this. Thank you so much, guys. Right, thank you so much for having us.